Exercise 1. In this exercise, we'll just get warmed up. We want to build a date that is January 1st of the user entered year equals date. The year is the input cell value. The month is 1 and the day is 1. Okay, easy enough. Let's move on. Exercise 2. In this exercise, we'll use a helper column that contains a date value. We need to build a monthly report. Since transactions are dated with a variety of different dates, we'll build a helper column that converts the dates to a unique value for each period. We'll simply convert them to the first day of the period using the date function. Equals date. The year is the year of the transaction date. The month argument is the month of the transaction date. And the day is 1. Okay, so far so good. Now, we simply use the sumifs function to aggregate the values for each period. Equal sumifs, add the table's amount column, only include those rows where the period column is equal to our period. Fill it down and, hey, that was easy. Exercise 3. In this exercise, we'll simulate the capability of the eomonth function with the date function. First up, the month start cell. We simply need to build a date that is the first day of the entered date. Equals date. The year is the year of the date. The month is the month of the date. And the day is 1. Easy enough. Now. Let's use the date function to compute the last day of the month. Equals date. Again, the year is the year of the date. The month is the month of the date. And the day is zero. As we can see, setting a day equal to zero backs up the resulting date by one day. So instead of using the month of the entered date, we actually need to advance it by one month. So we just add a 1 to the second argument. Adding 1 to the month advances the entire date by one month, and then the zero day backs up the date by one day, essentially returning the last day of the prior month. Extra credit 1. In this exercise, we'll build a report and format the date to show the month and year only. This report summarizes data in the TBL underscore data table. Let's check it out now. Our report will summarize the data based on the period column. Let's go build the report. Equal sum ifs. Add up the TBL data amount column. Only include those rows where the period column is equal to our period. Fill the formula down and so far so good. Now, we'll clean up the report labels. Each row represents a full month, so rather than displaying the report label to include the day of the month, we'll apply a date format that displays only the month and year. Highlight the labels and format cells. Apply a date format. Pick one that displays the month and year only. Uh, this one looks good. Okay, looks good. This video is a production of Clinton